Hey guys, Void here, back at the COG Performance Center, and today we're bringing you episode two of Void Guide. Now with episode two, we'll be talking about two, framing your opponents, and how you can abuse it and make sure your opponents regret recovering. Let's go. Basically what two framing is, is whenever a character is recovering and they grab the ledge, there are two frames during that ledge grab animation that this character can be hit. I know it looks fully invincible, but if you really look at it, there's one frame where you can hit them, two frames where you can hit them, and then on the third frame, that character is finally, truly invincible. What we're trying to aim for is to hit those two frames and make sure you can hit your opponent back off stage and potentially set up an edge guard. A character's two frame is universal across the whole cast. Pretty much every character, you'll be able to hit them during their two frames, but there's a lot of specific examples where they might have their two frame kind of inside of the stage or a little farther from the ledge. The positioning can change a lot, but for the most part, there are two frames where you can hit the character regardless of who they are as they're naturally grabbing the ledge. The reason why it's important to look out for two frames is after you hit your opponent, you can set up another edge guard for your opponent doesn't have a double jump. You might leave them with only an up B as a resource, and it's way easier to kill your opponent off of just an up B off of potentially, you know, their double jump or air dodge mix-ups. And not only that, you can kill an opponent right off of hitting their two frame. Whether you spike them down or hit them with a really strong smash attack, Punishing a two frame is something that you should definitely know how to abuse. The main ways you can hit these two frames is down tilts, sometimes down smashes, F smashes, downwards angled F tilts, moves that hit below the ledge. Captain Falcon's down air, Wolf's down smash, and Mart's down tilt. Moves that can generally hit that area near the ledge without posing too much risk to the user. Most of this will come off experience on knowing when to use your move, where to put your move, and getting used to your opponent's recovery option. Because some recoveries are faster than others, while other recoveries, you have a lot of time to make sure you can set it up. After practicing it for a while, you'll get used to it. So in this example, I'm using Pichu against Esam's Pikachu, and he ends up off stage. So since I'm very familiar with when Quick Attack grabs the ledge and what moves to use, I use Pichu's down tilt to cover the Quick Attack recovery angle and make sure I can nail some percent before I let him back on the stage. So in this next example, Zachary actually uses Wolf's down angled forward tilt to catch my own recovery and make sure he could take my stock really early. This is an example of killing people just for them trying to recover and not really going at too much risk. But as a retaliate, I catch his two frame with a down tilt of my own, leading into a death combo at a very early percent. Zachary being very familiar with the timings on Pichu's up B, he knows when he has to throw out his move and where. He has to throw out his moves and those are the two things that lead to two framing being so effective as it can nail you stocks. Right here, me being familiar with Wolf's recovery, I throw out a down tilt of my own leading into a death combo on Zachary's Wolf. This goes with me being familiar with Wolf's recovery and knowing when and where to throw out my move. So remember, two framing is punishing any opponent for grabbing the ledge and the hardest part is when and where. So let me ask you, what's your favorite move to two frame with? Leave it in the comments below. Remember to leave a like and subscribe because we'll be doing a lot more of these and you'll be here for the next video, so will I. See you next time, take care.